And while retail store owners can breathe a sigh of relief as they get to go back to business, others are not so fortunate. The governor not budging on restrictions when it comes to restaurants and close contact services like hair salons and, and gyms. Uh, Morella Porter is joining us live now. And um, Morella, some foresee this as creating some serious problems for business owners across Mobile. Yeah, that's right, Lenise. For some, it doesn't sit well seeing restrictions lifted on other businesses while they must stay out of business. I don't think I could survive another week. Carlton and Wallace now suffers a harsh reality that many business owners across Mobile County must face. His boarded up barbershop will have to stay that way. Wallace has been a barber for 35 years and must now choose between paying his bills at home or at the barber shop he spent most of his life shaping. And the landlord is asking for rent that I don't have because I have not been working. He says right now he's relying on donations to get by and seeing some clients at their homes. And this is all I know how to do is to use my hand. Uh, I'm like Superman without his cape. If I don't have a pair of shears in one hand, clippers or comb, doing what I love. Others like Brooke Goff, who are fortunate to still have some business, are doing their best to support their neighbors by promoting their dishes at her wine bar. We are really good friends with the owners at Via Del Rey uh, Mexican Kitchen. And we do a lot of things with them and to see the, the struggle and the, the hurt in their eyes, having to let go, um, let their people go. For Mark Jackson, it's a catch 22 as he struggles financially, but knows the situation we're in. The majority of our customers are, are, are black and brown and we know it has disproportionate affected that, that community. Jackson owns Kazula Eatery and Entertainment. Though he doesn't have to, he's chosen to shut down completely until he feels more comfortable, regardless of when the governor says they can open up again. There's no way I can say I love him and look him in the eyes and we open up knowing that this uh, virus is having a, a more uh, impact uh, on our communities. And Wallace believes more can be done to help close contact businesses get back to work. Now, it's still a big question of when they can open up again, since the governor has not put a date on it. Live in Mobile, Morella Porter, Fox 10 News.